decorated kickboxer back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 162 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting at Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. So lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Lands flush with that right hand. Good punch lands. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just out of the range with that right hand. Oh! Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense. And both guys really throwing with authority. Punches blocked. Oh. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, oh he lands. He lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. Head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, big left hook there. 
Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, he misses with the left as good a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Five minutes in the books. Well, that was a crazy round. I don't know if we should lob the chin of his opponent or give him the credit for landing head kick after head kick. When the head kicks land this often on the video game, it's because player one understands the game much better than player two. Tell your friend how to play the game, teach him how to block, or teach him how to throw the head kick too. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Big roundhouse now just misses. Uh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Work his head, work the head. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Big kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high. Now he's got hurt bad. Oh! Oh, straight right! Oh! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Oh, straight right! Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only oh. getting worse. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. And now he's got that tie clinch. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, look at that head snap back as he connects with another uppercut. Not the first time he's landed that weapon tonight. That's his best shot, man. He's so good at it. He's so good at finding it. And when you think you got a beat on the right uppercut, he shifts his weight off to the side and lands it on the left side. What a great understanding of landing that punch. Big kick lands. Lee's kick is blocked. right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Uh, How about those uh, five minutes? All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Third round underway. Wow, 
Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. of his size as he lands the knee. How about that chin? Oh! Huge right hand! What a fan! Oh! Oh, he goes and he lands! Wow! Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Back to the feet! Just over three minutes to go in round three. Working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. He's out! Holy smokes! What a fight! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Green is going to stop this contest at two minutes, 46 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout.